Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, today I choose to talk about uh, a Muslim cleric. He is very famous for the Muslims. And the Muslims from time to time, they quote their names. Supposedly by doing that, they can refute us. But you know, the Muslims, the problem about them, they do not know what kind of poo-poo they bring to themselves when they mention those names. And today we will give an example. This is a comment about a previous video. You can go and check it out. And Dean over dunya, which means life over, sorry, religion over life. So this guy, he chose religion over life. Like his religion is, is more important for him than life. And look what he said. By Allah, if we had not seen the Christians, we would not believe that there is a mind in the world would uh, in the world that accept this madness between two bracket trinity and we seek refuge in god from such a failure <laughs> you see the stupidity is that you do not know the one you are quoting what he said i mean i'm if i ask you a question i mean how come it's a madness to believe that god can be three and one in the same time but it's not madness to believe that god is one but he have two hands in the right side or God, he is not a man, yet he have five fingers. Or God, he is not a man, but he have a shin. And God is not a man, but he have two eyes. And he have a face. And he have a butt. So it's madness for you to believe that God can be one and the three in the same time. It's madness. But look what Ibn Hazm, he said, just to show you that you and Ibn Hazm both of you, you need to go to the hospital. And by the way, Muslims who knew what they are, this guy is saying, they call him Kafir. He's a Kafir. This is Al Muwahidun or Al Muwahideen. Those are the ones who believe in the oneness of Allah, the one who defend Islam. Look what the title name. Al Kafir ibn Hazm Allah. The Kafir ibn Hazm may Allah condemn him. <laughs> and you are quoting for me, Ibn Hazm, you idiot. <laughs> Did you ask yourself why the Spanish they made the statues for him? Because he is the donkey of the village. He is the best one, actually. Who, who, who's a Muslim want to use this guy, you know, to, to debate me? This guy is an idiot in one of his books he had many books and this is why the spanish actually they made a book for him i mean they, they made the statues for him because he is a good joker he exposed islam so in the book of al-ahkam you know ibn hazm or ibn hazm he said if we go down here he says Between Tawheed, Tawheed which means monotheism, and, and according to Muslims, but by the way, Tawheed in Arabic that cannot mean monotheism because Tawheed means unification. The word Tawheed is your wrong word for monotheism. Tawheed means unification. If someone is, if something is one already, how you can call it Tawheed? That's stupid. But we will go with the word as the Muslim try to mean it, make it mean. So between the monotheism and other belief. If you are trying to say that Allah is not able to delete Tawheed, or Allah able to do delete Tawheed and order to worship two or three or like Trinity, and if he do that, he is going to be unjust, foolish. You should know if you say that, you are wrong. In fact, you are saying lies about Allah. Because you made Allah unable to do so. Because you are controlling Allah. Because you became a judge over Allah. The one who created you. And look what he said too. 
And if you say that Allah cannot do that, which means, uh, you know, with the, the previous uh, uh, mention we said, that he cannot destroy Tawheed. If you say that, this is will make you a kafir. If you claim that Allah cannot destroy. Uh, Yusuf saying unification to whom? You tell, you tell me. I don't know. <laughs> if Allah is one, how you how you say we believe in Tawheed? <laughs> so, if you believe in that, which means Allah is unable to destroy Tawheed, that will make you a kafir. And you are a mushrik. And you are totally the top ignorant. But you are not only that, you are a mad person. We say, listen carefully, Muslims. We say, speaking about himself, that Allah is able to destroy Tawheed and to order us to worship two God or three gods or Trinity. And in the top of that, to worship idols. And if Allah, he do such a thing, this is, will be for a wisdom and for a just and justice. And if you do that, then Tawheed will become kufr <laughs> and unjust. And it's a joke. But God did not do that. As he told us, he don't change his religion. So he ordered us, and this is what we believe in. So look at the stupidity here. They are quoting for me someone saying the following in the quotation. If you remember what we read for you a second ago. That Ibn Hazm said, if we had not seen the Christians believing in the Trinity, we would not believe it. Okay. If I had not seen Ibn Hazm doing poo poo, I will not use, uh, I will not buy him to write papers because this is poo poo. So you just said it is possible that Allah he can destroy Tawheed and he order us to worship a three person, one God. It's not only three person, one God, three gods. It's possible to worship two gods if Allah order. It's possible even to worship idols if Allah order. So what is the problem? Any Muslim can tell me? Let me use Google translation, translation. Hmm? I don't know if this book is, exists in English. Translate to English. <clears throat> Look at this. Look at this madness. So Allah can destroy monotheism. Allah can command to believe in a trinity and even idolatry. And if he do that, he will do it because he's wise and he is just and he is a truth. And then if you order that, then monotheism will be unbelief and unjust and in vain. But he does not do that because he told us we don't change his command. So the whole idea of Islam then that, okay, Allah, he says, I am one. But if Allah, he wants, he can make himself two. <laughs> And if he wants, he can make himself a three. <laughs> and if he wants, even he can order you to worship idols. And if he do order you to worship two or three or four or five or idols, still he is just. Do you see the stupidity? This is your wise man. If this is your wise man, who is the donkey then? Because you just destroy all the refutation you claim that you have for us from this guy. Because this guy, he made books supposedly to refute the Christian. The Christian believed the Trinity. But he just said that the Trinity is very possible if God wants to.
And who is the one who decide what God want to? You or Muhammad? Muhammad is a man who have no witnesses for anything. The angel come, the angel go. The angel squeeze him three times and no mayones come. The angel say to him, read it three times, still he cannot read. People, they challenge him to bring miracles like Jesus, like Musa, like everybody. He cannot. You can find only miracles of Muhammad in the Hadith. Those are fabricated stories written hundreds of years after Muhammad. The Quran is so clear saying, we refrain from sending miracle to you. Why? Because former generation refused to believe in them. So when a person, he come to us and he say, let me quote for you what Ibn Hazm he said. Well, I have to ask you about Ibn Hazm, who is a person, obviously, he destroyed Islam. In the same time, why you don't ask Ibn Hazm, why he did not ask, how come Allah, he have a shin? Is Allah is united with his shin or he is a part? Is the shin of Allah is the same as Allah? Is the hand of Allah is the same as Allah? Is the fingers of Allah is the same as Allah? Trinity, Trinity is not believing in three gods, is believing in one God. But this guy, he just said, it's possible to believe in three gods, not Trinity. You see here, the, the you know, the, 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 the translation Trinity is not about three person, one God. No, it's about three gods, three gods or two gods. Translation here is coming wrong. He can order you to believe in two gods. إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ قَادِرٌ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَنْسَخْ التَّوْحِيدَ وَعَلَىٰ أَنْ يَأْمُرُ بِالتَّثْنِيَ وَالتَّثْلِيثِ وَعِبَادَةِ الْأَوْثَانِ Allah is capable to delete monotheism. And He is capable to order you to believe in two and the three gods and even idols. And if He does that, He is being just and wise. And then Tawheed will become Kufr. Which means you are out of religion of Islam. So what, what the Muslims are saying to us, it's, it's not because you Christian believe in three person, one God is not logical. No, it's logical. But we don't believe in it. So all the fabrication, the Muslim, they come to us with their argument destroyed by this guy. Because it's possible. Who is, and you know, in somehow he is right. Who is the one who will tell God what, who, what, what like, we, are you going to design God as you want? You see, the Muslims are like people who they are, uh, when, they, when they go to do shopping for their God, they are going to Victoria's Secret. They are looking for a panty. They are not looking for God. And they pick up the panty, which is more sexy for them. They want to design God as they want. But when it's come to their God, they don't question him. As you see, if, if, the, if Allah, he order us to worship idols, it's okay. No problem. No problem. What is the problem? If Allah, he order us to worship two and three, no problem. And if you do that, this is just. And this is wisdom. <laughs> and this is the truth. <laughs> so how in the world you quote for me such a person? I mean, are you, are you insane? Yes. And you will notice that all Muslims who they are called philosopher, they are considered as kuffar. But those naive ones, like the dummies you see in YouTube, they keep quoting those people. Those people destroy Islam. As an example, this person, he said that Allah don't go down, Allah, he jump. <laughs> you know, you remind me of the Cong what his name, Congoro? Is that the Congoro? Let me find the book. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, actually, I, I gave a wrong translation. Hold on, let me let me give you the, the correct one. Uh, when Allah, he moved down, how Ibn, Ibn Hazm, he explained it? No, no, he did not say jump, sorry. Let me find the book. You know, I did read this long time ago. All right. <clears throat> Uh, oh, hold on. So this is the book here. He is saying he did not say jump. He says no, it's not a jump. He's not. A, it's not a movement. Sorry. He says uh, that Allah He come down. This is a problem number fifty seven in the book. It's called Al Muhalla Bil Athar. This is the book, Google, all right? So, the movement of Allah is not, an, uh, sorry, the, uh, uh, when Allah, he come down to the lowest heaven, it's an action Allah, he does. It is not a movement or not a jump. And the proof of that is what happened in the following hadith. The, the prophet said, that Allah he come down every night in the third part of the night and he stay until the third part of the night and he says who is asking me and I will answer him who is supplicating to me and I will give him who is asking for forgiveness and I will forgive him okay now here you ask yourself is this man is insane if the hadith says Allah come down how Allah don't come down? If you're a prophet, says Allah come down. He is using this to prove that Allah don't come down, but the hadith says Allah come down. <laughs> philosopher, philosopher, you know. <laughs> okay, so when you're a prophet, he says, uh, Allah, he come down every night. If it's not coming down and it's not a movement, so why Allah is saying he's coming down? He descend. Let us show you the hadith in English. Hmm. This is the hadith. How in the world this person he is considered even to be an intelligent a human being when he say this is not a movement so what is this this is a jump this is a kangaroo your prophet says Allah he descend every night so what he tried to do he claimed that the movement of Allah is a word when he's a prophet he says that he come down so did Muhammad he used the wrong word Maybe Ibn Hazm is inspired. He understands Islam better than Muhammad himself. Muhammad should not use the word he come down. He should use different word. Another issue, this idiot he said, which is destroying Muhammad lies. As an example, And by the way, he is like, you know, in his time, looked like this guy, he was the mule, the only mule who the rest of the donkeys thought he is a horse. Let us say he is trying to, is a person trying to think when the rest are trying to sleep. So, uh, there is a statement here, he says, I'm trying to find the book. <clears throat> and this is about the satanic verses. Satanic verses. Here we go. 
This is the book of Rasailu ibn Hazm, the, 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 the letters of Ibn Hazm. And this is the, you know, the Islamic website and the publication and the dates and the numbers, etc. So look what he's saying here. Some of the uh, Mufassirin, which mean do interpretation for the Quran, say that Satan, he throw the satanic verses on the mouth of the prophet or in the tongue of the prophet, sorry. He says, A'uzu billah, this is going to be true. I seek refuge by Allah from this. This is a lie. So he's accusing Ibn Kathir. He's accusing Al-Tabari, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Jalalain, all the Muslim scholars to be a bunch of liars. And I agree. And that, and that such a statement is a lie. And there's no way Allah, he will let shaitan speak on the tongue of his prophet. There's no way Allah, not as Muslims, Allah will never do that. What does that mean? That's mean if shaitan, he do something to you, it's Allah who, who told him to do it, correct? He just admitted. There's no way Allah will make shaitan speak on the tongue of his prophet. But this is idiot, you don't you know the Quran, chapter 6, verse 112, where it says, and every prophet we made for him an enemy from Satan's and genies. It's Allah who appointed them. Allah, he appointed shaitan. You can change the translation if you don't like this one, whatever you want. As you know, all of them, they are a bunch of lies. So Allah is the one who appointed shaitan. The, and the purpose of this appointment is to make uh, trouble. Allah is the devil himself. He is the big boss. We have appointed for every prophet enemies from shaitan among mankind and jinns. When Ibn Hazm, he said that there's no way Allah will let shaitan control the tongue of his prophet, then the Quran did lie. Why? Because the Quran said, shaitan, he did that. This is what happened to you when you try to follow a philosopher or trying he's trying to be a philosopher trying to copy the, the you know the, the philosopher but he is not he's just an you know an idiot uh, this is your Quran chapter 22 verse number 52 what the Quran says what the Quran says read it carefully Never did we send a messenger or a prophet before thee, but when he framed a desire, framed a desire, okay, this translation, not me. Satan throw some vanity into his desire, okay. He is saying that there is no way shaitan is controlling his tongue. But he agreed that shaitan, he controlled your desire. But isn't the tongue speak for the desire? <laughs> And when the satanic verses came, who is the one who was talking? Muhammad. So who is in control of the tongue of Muhammad? Satan. But here he's saying there's no way Allah will let that happen. That's mean Allah is not God. Because this has happened. And Muslim scholars agree that this is what happened. And the Quran, change the translation, translation if you don't like it. We can use different translators. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us use Shakir, another, another idiot. Hmm? And we send not before you any apostle or a prophet, but when he desired shaitan made suggestion uh, 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 recepting, uh, uh, recepting his desire, and then Allah will delete it. Well, this is a proof that Muhammad he received satanic verses, and this is a proof that Quran used to have satanic verses, and this is a proof that Allah he will delete it. 
But what is the proof that this verse itself is not from the shaitan shayt himself? As long as Satan, he can make something happen to Muhammad and make him speak satanic verses, well, this verse, it might be from the Satan too, to tell you, don't worry about it. Because people, they got him busted. He ordered to worship the three daughters of Allah. And he continues saying, because Allah, he says, He will not, Muhammad supposedly, speak from his own desire, but it is inspiration. Thank you very much. As long Allah, he confirmed that Muhammad will never speak from his own desire, is going to be only from the desire of Allah. Okay. So how shaitan was able to give him from his desire? That means shaitan and Allah is one. And then he start calling names for all anyone who say, this is, this is true that the shaitan, he throw words in the tongue of the prophet. So all what he's saying, it's not, he did not throw tongue. He did, he did not force the tongue of the prophet to use it, but he controlled the mind of the prophet. Here he say that shaitan, he throw in the desire inside you. He whisper to you. As Allah said, you whisper in nas. Allah, he whisper inside you. And then he said, and when the shaitan, he did that in the chapter of 22, verse number 52, that was the action of shaitan only. He just confirmed that Muhammad is shaitan. Because shaitan cannot control Muhammad tongue, according to him. But shaitan, he have action. And what is the action? He whisper into Muhammad. And Muhammad, he do what shaitan, he whisper to him. Have you ever heard better supporter to me more than this guy? How many times I said Muhammad, he have a mental illness? This guy is saying Muhammad have a mental illness. Trying to take what Muhammad did and throw it at the devil. Okay, the devil, he whispered to Muhammad. Muhammad, he obeyed the devil how? How Muhammad is the most follower of Allah, the most important one. Even the Quran says that Allah is going to protect him from the genie and the human. So how Muhammad suddenly is taking the desire of shaitan and he practice it and he bow down to the devil, idols. How shaitan was able to whisper to Muhammad and do what is wrong getting out of Tawheed, saying the three daughters of Allah is a must to praise them. Here the Muslims, by the way, in order to get away from the stupidity of Muhammad, they come to you with all kind of madness. And supposedly their madness is explanation or interpretation. So if we go to the books of Tafsir, you will find endless, endless, attempt to clean Muhammad from what happened but doesn't work if we go right now and see tafsir see the Muslim they say to me that Ibn Kathir did not say that Ibn Kathir did not say that Ibn Kathir he quote a story and Ibn Kathir in English is different from Ibn Kathir in Arabic so if we take here if we do this And in front of your eyes, I will click search and Google. All right. The first one came in front of me is Ibn Kathir. 
<clears throat> Ibn Kathir, he did not like the Senate of the story as to be authentic. However, look what he said. He caught the story. In English, we cannot find it, by the way. If you go to the English translation, you will not find the story. It says here, قَالَ فَأَلْقَ الشَّيْطَانُ عَلَى لِسَانِهِ Where? On his tongue. Where, where, where? On his tongue. Ibn Hazm, he says, there is no way Allah will let shaitan use the tongue of the Prophet. And then the Prophet, he says, تِلْكَ الْغَرَانِيقُ الْعُلَى Those are the three daughters of Allah. Their intercession is a must. And then, the pagans, they said, you know what? He never, you know, says something good about our gods. Gods, not God. As good as today. So, he did bow down and they did bow down. If you go to the English website, you will not find this. It's gone. And now hear the story, Ibn Kathir trying to say to you, I don't find this is really too much accepted, uh, like this is reported by this, by this, by this, but this is accepted by all the other scholars and accepted by him to report it. If it's totally false, why you are reporting it? And why the Muslims are reporting it? And why a Muslim want to say that Muhammad, he have satanic verses on his tongue? You see, the one is saying this story is not the Christians, it's not the Jews. Those are Muslims. Qutada said that the Prophet, he was, uh, uh, when he used like, you know, to uh, uh, do something and he felt like uh, sleepy. Uh, and then Shaitan, like he, he was standing to pray and he felt sleepy, sleepy. The Prophet is sleepy, you know. He's praying to Allah. Alhamdulillah. So the Prophet is sleepy. So Shaitan, he threw on his tongue. This is what, uh, 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 this is Ibn Kathir here, this hadith, he don't, he don't reject. He accept this one. He don't say this is, uh, this is false. This is Qutada saying that. And then he said the Prophet that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. And uh, uh, it, it is with the, uh, uh, it is with the, like uh, the, the divine, the deity of Allah. And then the Mushrikeen, the Arab, they memorize what Muhammad said. And then Shaitan made them see that the Prophet he recited that. And then it came to their tongues. And then Allah he deleted. <laughs> Hmm. And look how many times the story reported. If you go to Ibn Kathir in English, we will not find all those things reports in English website. They are gone. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And there's tons of report of the stories. Some hadith, the Ibn Kathir is saying he don't he, you know, he's considered them, they are not enough approved. He did not deny them, really. He said, I don't find them legitimate, and some hadith, he accept them. But all the hadith, they agree the same thing. That Muhammad, he said, the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is accepted, is a must. And this is narrated, narrated by many companion of Muhammad. Ibn Hatim narrated on the authority of Ibn al-Ala, whatever, etc., etc., as well narrated by Ibn Jarir, as etc., the, the authority of Ibn whatever, all of them, they have authority. The Prophet, peace be upon him, bless him, this is a translation of stupid Google, was praying and he, he fell asleep 
They can know the, the Prophet he sleep when he's standing. What's wrong with that? I mean that the guy he is, you know, like tired. So he's standing and and then Shaitan he throw in his tongue, and their intercession, the daughters of Allah, is a must. If we go right now to the English Ibn Kathir, we will not find this. Shall we actually go to Ibn Kathir in English? Let us see if we can find. Let us see. Let us give it a test. Let us see. <laughs> Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir in English is like a is like somebody who train you know went over him, and nothing left. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> All right. Let me get here, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Let me get here in English. Let us go to Let me get here in English. English. And try to find the story. Where the prophet he was asleep. Maybe we'll find it. Maybe I'm mistaken. Hmm. It's gone. Look how short it became. Nothing. Where is the three daughters of Allah? Where he was asleep? Where this guy he said and that guy he said? It's gone. Look, the whole page is gone. I mean, look how long this page here in Arabic. Look how long. This is page number 338 in the book of Ibn Kathir. And this is the same verse we are talking about. Chapter 22, verse number 52. Look how long here. How much words. But in the English text, it's just a few lines. I think the translator he was using Clorex with cotton. Where is the stories? It's gone. Actually, the rest here are not even the, 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 the verse explanation. That's it. Allah will take the word with shaitan he throw in. But look what the translation of Ibn Kathir confirmed. That yes, shaitan he throw in. Because if the Quran is saying Allah will take what shaitan throw in, that's mean he throw in. It happened. Throw in where? Who is the one the people listen to? Muhammad. What Muhammad was saying? Quran. So what shaitan he did? He throw in the tongue of Muhammad. So you're an idiot you're trying to defend Muhammad. He make it even more poo -poo. Because he just said that there is no way Allah will allow shaitan to throw in. So the Quran is lying. Muhammad is a liar. For yes, shaitan he threw in. He said, I seek refuge by Allah. There is no way shaitan will allow that to happen. So the Quran itself is a joke. Because this Quran says Allah will cancel what shaitan. This is the Quran. This is not interpretation. Imagine I say to you, I'm going to clean the dirt which shaitan he did. That means there's a dirt. Otherwise, I'm cleaning what? So this poor guy, he was trying his best to defend Muhammad, but the more he tried to defend, the more he do poo-poo and expose Muhammad, because obviously Muhammad is the devil himself. He was, as a satanic person, in the front of the Arab, he thought nobody will notice. He wanted them to accept him as a prophet, to pray behind him, and he bowed down. It says even in Arabic, was sajada was sajadu, and he bowed down, and they bowed down too. What he did, he bowed down.
And here you notice that the Muslims are desperate trying to find a solution for what happened. Oh, the Prophet was asleep. <laughs> he fell asleep when he's praying. I mean, you have like 50, 60 people behind you praying, and now you fell asleep? Is that the effect of hashish? And look how many times the story is reported. So when a Muslim he come to us and or he mentioned to you those those potatoes, they call them Ibn Ibn Hazm, Ibn Potato. All of them, those people, they were trying their best to defend Muhammad in front of the Christians. But the more they try, the more they fail. You see, you can defend Muhammad in front of a Christian who know nothing about Islam. A person who do not know even what we are talking about. But the second he start reading, he will find that this is there is no way. Okay, why the Quran says there's no prophet but Shaitan he throw in his tongue. Name one. Satan he come to Jesus, he tried to tempt Jesus, and Jesus refuted him. He said to him, If you are the Son of God, withdraw yourself. How come Shaitan did not make Jesus say what Shaitan wanted him to say? Did Shaitan do the same to Moses? Because the verse saying, every prophet before you, Shaitan, he did that to them. Name one. Actually, show me a story from the Quran that Shaitan, he did that to any of them. And look what Ibn Kathir, even in English, says. So Shaitan throw some falsehood in his recitation. But Ibn Hazm called Ibn Kathir a liar. Because this is not in the recitation. This is in his head. <laughs> Isn't it amazing what we call stupidity, which is Aka Islam? Any Muslim want to quote for me Ibn Hazm again? And this is why the Muslim, they call him Kafir. Literally, he's a Kafir. If I translate this website for you, it says Al-Kafir Ibn Hazm. Look what he said. And they are listing for you tons of garbage about this guy which make him Kafir for the Muslims. This is just a list. Look at this one. I like this one. Suppose that he is refuting somebody and he is saying, and he say that Allah, the exalt, uh, he, he have a hand and two hands and many hands, and he have a face and an eye and, and many eyes, and he is proud. I'm assuming that he may, may be trying to, re to respond to so a Christian person, maybe. And then he says, all of this is true, but there is no benefit of it. Which means, why are you mentioning this? It's true, Allah have hands. <laughs> it's true, Allah have eyes. It's true, Allah is so proud. Are proud of what? You know, when you are proud, I mean proud in front of who? This is one of the, the, the attribute of Allah. He is so proud. He's arrogant. You know, if I am proud in front of a human being I created, that's mean I am, I'm really, that will make me stupid. Because he's nothing. I mean, imagine guys, the one who created the whole universe. How big this universe. He's a proud. You see, to be proud, that's mean you are comparing yourself to others. And actually, all the titles of Muhammad to Allah, proving that Allah is a fool. He's a foolish person. Why? Because when the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators, Allah is proud. He's like showing off. Hey, I am the best of the creators. But, but this is stupid to be proud of 
and to say you are the best of the creators if there's no other creators. How someone claimed to be God, yet he claimed to be the best of the creators? If there's others? If there's no others, that means Allah is fabricating an attribute additional to his, saying that he is the best of the creators when he is just the only one. My friend Joshua, when I call me, he can ask the question here. We have a topic. Ask your question, Joshua, here. We have a topic, my friend. Don't you see we have a topic? How Allah is the best of the creators? Allah is proud. He is. And look how the Muslim, they fabricate the translation, which is false. And they say, Allah is the best to create. Does it say really the best to create or the best of the creators? If you change the translator, you will find that it is the best of the creators. Questions. Philosophers. Muslim philosophers, Ibn Hazm, how Allah is the best of the creators if he's the only one? What you will say, you will say Allah is telling us that he is the best. Okay, best of what? Creation, but he is the only creator. A smart Muslim, he come to you, okay, what about the, the one who created window? <laughs> Abdul, in the, wor the word in religion, when you say creator, it's the one who created something from nothing or he gave life and the Quran confirmed that if you go in the Quran you will see that Allah is saying to the, to the Arab how you worship someone he cannot even create a fly he does not say create a door that's not a creation that's a creative idea yes but it's not a creation so the Quran in chapter 22 verse number 73 says uh, how in the world you call what you call as God, you know, they cannot even create a fly. So when we say he is the best of the creators, speaking about creating of a creature, something alive. But isn't the Quran says that Jesus, he created from the mother bird? So it is lawful for us as a Christians to worship Jesus because the Quran confirm if the God you worship cannot create a fly, then he cannot be God. This is the philosophy of Allah. If a person you worship, if an idol you worship, if a tree you worship, if a potato you worship, cannot create a fly, that means your belief is false. Who is saying that? Allah. So what about Jesus? The Muslim, they will say to you, well, Jesus, he created bird by the will of Allah. Who cares about the will of Allah? He have the ability. You see that Allah, uh, I mean, I can, I can, okay, I, I went to the bathroom before I come by the will of Allah. What does this have to do? This is my ability. I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> the will of Allah. <laughs> what does that mean? So did Allah give his ability to Jesus? If he did, that's it. We have two creators now. Crazy, isn't it? Uh, if Jesus, uh, only a person who did not die, then what about Elijah, who was taken to heaven directly, didn't die uh, to right? You see, I'm talking in, in Islam, the only one who did not die is Jesus. So don't mix things up. Secondly, even, you know, Jesus himself, he said that when he resurrected from the, from the tomb, the saints, they came out with him. So right now in the sky, there's many. There's many, they are resurrected. Whoever God he want is resurrected. And this is not the proof that Jesus is God because he's in the, in the sky. Or in, in the sky, there's angels too. And they don't die too. So don't be like, you know, uh, don't be like a kid who's trying to find uh, like, you know, like, uh, I don't know, your own uh, weird philosophy. We don't say that Jesus is God because he is in the sky. No. This is not the reason. When we debate Muslim, we say, why only Jesus? In Islam, only Jesus. Only Jesus in Islam have no father. Then they say to you, Adam, you eat it. Adam is not born. 
how you will have a father anyway Jesus is born so the only person is born of a woman who have no father is Jesus in Islam why no answer the only one is right now a life in heaven in Islam is who is from the earth he's a man supposedly is Jesus why they have no answer they will tell you oh, there's a plan Allah he will come back why that will make another question why the one who will come and finish the devil is Jesus not Muhammad they have no answer why he is the one who will control all the, the, the evil in the earth and he will destroy it? They have no answer. Why Allah, he did not save Muhammad when they killed him, but he saved Jesus? They have no answer. <laughs> so when we talk about Jesus in heaven, that is not what make him God. What make him God is what he did and what he said. As an example, Jesus says, before Abraham, I am. Jesus says, I am from above and you are from below. Are you listening, my friend? So when we ask a Muslim, okay, why, why Allah saved Jesus? They said to you, because he will not allow somebody to humiliate his prophet and to kill him. Okay, wonderful. So how come Allah did allow... <laughs> The Jews, the same people, the Jews, again, the Jews. A Jewish woman, she put a poison, rat poison. It's a rat poison, proven scientifically. She bought it from Home Depot. I was there. How come Allah, he allowed the Jewish woman to go to Home Depot and she buy a rat poison and she gave it to the prophet and the prophet, he ate it. <laughs> Yummy, 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 yummy. And the funny, the Muslim, they say, when he was eating, the goat spoke to him. But there's no head for the goat. The goat is dead and cooked and spoke to him. Yes, brother. The goat spoke to him after he ate. I mean, look at this miracle. Hey, CP, I am the goat. You are eating me. I just want to tell you that you are eating poison. You stupid goat. What did you say that before I start eating? The goat, she told him after he ate the goat. I mean, how fast, maybe Allah was sending, trying to activate the goat, like Allah is working his keyboard, like how we can activate the goat to talk, it's not working. She is very done, very well done barbecue, it's not working. And finally Allah succeeded, but after what? After Muhammad, he ate the goat. No answer. Okay, Allah, he saved Jesus. Why? No answer. Okay, Allah did not save Muhammad. Why? No answer. Is Muhammad important for Allah? He's the most important person for Allah. Actually, Jesus himself was created for the sake of, of, of Muhammad. Not only Jesus, brother. Everything, everything. There's a hadith. There's a hadith. It says the following. Let me show you. What a crazy cult. Oh boy. Brothers and sisters, let us introduce for you, brothers and sisters, the most important person in the history. He's what? He's the most important person. The Muslims, they make fun of my English too. They don't make fun of stupidity. I mean, how come you Muslims, you don't make fun of Zakir Naik when he says this? Brother Sitter, today we are going to give you an example that the Prophet is the most important person in the whole world. In the what? In the whole person. Oh, okay. In the hadith, brother, it says that if that the Prophet did not exist, Allah will not create the heaven and the earth. What? He will not create what? Question. What is the res do the respect of ulama, which means the scholars of the religion, and sharia, which means Allah, say about the hadith, the following hadith, لَوْلَا كَمَا خَلَقْتَ الْأَفْلَاكِ etc. Which mean, if not you, Muhammad, I created nothing. Read carefully. The answer, indeed, the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the reason for the creation of Adam. Adam created for the sake of Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a movie start from the end? This is Islam. They show you Muhammad and then they go back to Adam. And Adam was created for the sake of Muhammad. 
not only Adam, if the Prophet like, look like they have to say this, Sallallahu Allah pray on him and salute him every time they say his name. And if the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi was not to be existent, then Arsh, the chair of Allah, the throne of Allah, brother, will not be created. <laughs> Allah will be standing until now. Allah will be without a chair until now if there's no Muhammad. That's it. I mean, why Allah have a chair? Because of Muhammad. Okay, Abdul, why in the world Allah, he need a chair because of Muhammad? Like, I'm going to tell it to you. First of all, you are stupid. And you are a person who believe one plus one plus one is equal to one. And this is very stupid in mathematics. Zach and this is not a question. Why Allah will not create the chair to himself unless Muhammad is exist? I will explain to you. First of all, you have to apologize for me. Because you call me when I was doing nikah. We don't talk about nikah now. Let us talk about the topic. Why Allah will not create will not create the chair unless Muhammad is exist? What what Muhammad have to do with the chair of Allah? I will explain to you. First of all, if you go to my YouTube channel, you will have a lot of people subscribe to my channel. And you have only a few people. Jack and Nick, what does this have to do with the topic? Why Allah will not create a chair to himself unless Muhammad is exist? I will explain to you. And I will say to you, and I have all the Christian other thing. Christian Prince is an ignorant. He doesn't know how to read Arabic. Zach and Nick, my friend, I, read, I don't read the Arabic. I, I read, I read the, you know, holographic. I don't know. What does this have to do with the question? Why Allah will not create a chair for himself unless Muhammad is created? I can get the breath. I'm going to get you busted into a second. Listen carefully. Number one reason. Finally, Zach and Nick will answer. Number one reason. Did you say a number one reason? I said number one reason. Please don't interrupt me. Number one reason. First of all, the electricity in my city is that weak. And this is why I cannot now open my computer. And I can answer you. I, I thought you said number one reason. You will answer me. Okay, let me repeat. What does this have to do with electricity? You are calling me now. Why Allah will not create the chair to himself unless Muhammad is a creator? What the connection? Zakir, do you want me to help you? You want me to help you, don't you? You are very cute. I see it in your face. Okay, I will answer, but I will play you now. Christian Prince, the answer is very simple. Because Allah, he needs to write the name of the Prophet on his chair. So Allah, he said to himself, if I created a Prophet, his name is Muhammad, and I created everything for him, well, I'm going to write his chair. Where? So he created a piece of furniture. It's called the throne. And then he started writing the name of Muhammad in the chair. So Allah created the chair so he could write the name of Muhammad on it. Zakir and I could not answer that. Christian Prince is answering. This is a religion. And then the qalam, the tablet, Allah will not have galaxy, galaxy uh, tablet. Have you ever heard of a God have a, have a tablet? Why? The, the tablet, brother, the tablet of Allah will not create it. The qalam, the pen of Allah will not create it. The sky, the sky is not created if not Muhammad. The, the earth, the earth, the earth, brother, brother, the earth, the heaven, the hill, the trees, the stones. Should I continue? The bugs, the cockroaches, the pigs, the potato, the tomato, the potato, the potato, the potato, the potato. This is religion, this is religion. And they say to us, we don't worship a man. Well, look what you did. You just made Muhammad is God and Allah is his servant because everything Allah is exists for is just to serve Muhammad. Any Muslim? Everything, everything is created for the sake of Muhammad, brother. I mean, don't you think Muslims, you are exaggerating? Do you know, guys, that Allah, he created 124,000 prophets, but we mentioned that before, but he created them from where? Anyone knows? Allah created 124,000 prophets, but how he created them? Hmm. Anything is not you don't like it, you say it's not considered authentic. Is that authentic? 
I mean, is that hadith is authentic? It says indeed. So, guys, if this hadith is not authentic, why the answer is indeed? <laughs> Brother, sister, this hadith is not authentic. So, why you are saying indeed the reason for the creation of everything is the Prophet? <laughs> So are you saying to me that you Muslims, you take a fabricated story and you make it true? Because you just said indeed. Is that the Christian prince saying indeed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the reason for the creation? Is that me? It's you. Let me see the, let me see the address of this website. Hold on. This is, must be Christian prince website. Let us see. IslamCity.org. You know what? I think in IslamCity.org, everybody there is a Jew. This is your Muslim website. Joshua, he want to leave Islam? Okay, why, why you join Islam first of all, my friend? I mean, how in the world anyone can join this cult? Have you ever heard of a God? A very simple question. You know, just ask yourself a simple question, my friend. Don't join, you know, anything, anything without knowing what you are joining. Have you ever heard of a God? He promised you women with big boobs, if you believe in him. Hmm? Be honest with me. Is that why you join Islam, first of all? Hey, brothers and sisters, I have a God. If you believe in him, he will give you women with big boobs. Okay, why he did not bring women that he will give them men with big testicles? <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> what is this? This is religion? This is God? He's like an egg. Why Allah want to give us women with big boobs? Great Prince, I will tell you like anything. And because you are a fool and you are stupid, you won't understand it. Other example, imagine that the flood of Noah happened again. What? The flood of Noah happened again. The flood of Noah? What does this have to do with the boobs? Stupid! Let me talk and I will explain to you. Oh, okay, sorry. If the flood of Noah happened again, and you have a woman with boobs, you can hold in her and her boob will float on you, and you will not drown. Ah, the big boobs will be like a balloon. Exactly! And I get you busted. This is a god? This is the God you were believing in that he will give you a woman with big boobs? How big? How big? Are they really big? Hmm? So my friend Joshua who decided to leave Islam, I'm very happy for you. You can text me in uh, in in in, uh, in pal talk. Maybe later, if we have time, maybe tomorrow, etc. I, I can take a call from you, so we can hear you saying that you decide to leave Islam. Stop misleading people. You are scared hiding in a room. What do you want me to do? I, we are in the internet. Why you want me to go? You want me to go in the street? <laughs> Stop misleading. You are hiding in the room. What about you? You are in the room? You are in the bathroom? And what about you refute me? Okay, I'm hiding in the room. Allah is hiding in the room too. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah will not speak to anyone except from behind the hijab? Huh? Why you don't say that to Allah? And who said to you, I'm hiding in a room? I have tons of uh, uh, seminars. I go everywhere around the world doing seminars. Why you don't join us next time? But what about a God who will not speak to you unless he is behind a hijab? He's a Muslim? He speaks from behind a veil? Hello? Hello? 
Where is the one who says to me, come on and pick up my call? Are you calling me? The shine? The shine? Okay, hold on. My my uh, my pal talk is not open, my friend. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Uh, this guy is trying to call me. Hold on. I did not open my pal talk for it yet. What is your name in pal talk? I will call you. Just text me. Tell me what's your name in pal talk in the chat and in, in the text in pal talk, and I will call you back. <clears throat> Just to be sure it's you, not someone else. Because you are obviously scary. All, all my life, I want to debate someone. His name is Sajah Saja Shashan. And finally, it's going to happen. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Uh, it says you need to upgrade. I don't know. Use a computer, my friend. Don't use your phone. See, I just called you. That's your name, right? Zishan Q. It says ongoing call rejected. You need to update your pal talk or you need to use a computer. Next. <clears throat> Let us see if there is any Muslims. <clears throat> Muslim. Oh, we have Ara Abbas. Ab Ara Abbas is not online, sadly. Ara Abbas is not online. Okay, now we are out of them. This is all the text I receive. Ara Abbas is delivering uh, pizza now. So what we would do now, Shenzhen, uh, open your computer and call me from your computer, my friend. Why you don't debate uh, Farid about Nikah? We debated him about Nikah and he failed. And let me let me get you busted in two seconds about Nikah. Two seconds. Shall I make a video about it just alone? Not even a minute will take. <laughs> and actually, even your potato, he agreed that uh, the origin of the word Nikah means the F word. He said that in his video. Yes, it's true. The origin of the word is nikah is the F word. <laughs> but let me get you busted in two seconds. And why you don't ask him to call me? I will call him, give me his Skype. Or, or if, you know what? I don't use Skype, but just for him, I will call Skype. Just give me his Skype or pal talk. Potatoes. Look what the Quran says. The Quran says that if you divorce your wife three times, you cannot. She cannot go back to her previous husband unless you F her. You Muslim, you say this is not F in her, this is marrying her. Read carefully. It says, until she has married another husband. Is that really what the verse is saying? Let us go to the hadith. Is that what the Quran is saying? Until she marry or until she F a new husband? You will find out. And the word here is tenka. Uh, here we go. This is the hadith. This woman here, she is married already to a guy. His name is Abdul Rahman. Okay. The Prophet said to her, You need to know. What is in the Quran? The Quran says you cannot go back to your previous husband unless you if the second husband. You must have translated until she married, right? Read the hadith. Read the hadith and love. So now she divorced her husband. His name is Rifa. And now she married a guy, his name is Abdul Rahman. So now she's married. Can she go back to the previous husband? No. The, pre the Prophet said, you need to know <laughs> if your intention to go to Abdul Rahman, to, to, to Rifa, 
You cannot do that unless Abdul Rahman he do nikah to you. Do you see it? I do not even need to debate about it. And you lies and you say we Christian we use the word nikah, go to any church, they will laugh at you. There's millions of videos of wedding, wedding, wedding ceremony in the church, Arabic, Arab, Arab people speaking Arabic. Go and find me one of them saying today we will do nikah. <laughs> And if you show me somebody have a translation of the Bible, if this is true, that guy is not even an Arab, and we don't use it. So all your argument is false, and the hate in the front of you. Are you going to say to your prophet that you are a liar? So what is the condition to go back to your previous husband? To do nikah. This is what the verse in the Quran is saying. If you think you can go back to your previous husband, you cannot. By the way, this is a lizard, in case you do not know. This is the enemy of Allah. Muhammad, he says that this is the enemy of Allah. This is why the one who killed him from first blow, Allah will give him extra reward. My friend, I don't open Skype. Tell him to, to text me in... Uh, yeah. That's false, my friend. He showed nothing. He showed a translation according to him. This is a correct translation. But even if that is true, that is a translation of a foreign man. He's from Germany, somewhere from where. This is not what we Arab we use. We will never use such a word, for this is a very filthy word. And the proof of that, go and find me one church, they use that word in their prayer, or in their ceremony of marriage. Well, right now we can go and search in, in YouTube. There's millions of videos about wedding Christian, Arab Christians, Coptic Christians, all kinds of Christians in the Middle East. You will not find them using that word, for this is a filthy word. So stop your stupidity. Are you against your prophet or you are not against him? If you are a prophet said, she cannot come back to her husband unless she do nikah. Unless she if the new husband. So what nikah mean? The word in here Arabic says, فَإِن طَلَّقَهَا فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْدِ مِنْ بَعْدِ حَتَّى تَنْكَحَ Until she if. A new husband. You see the word husband? I mean, how she marry a husband? She, she is a husband. Have you ever heard of somebody who is going to marry a husband? You know, just for the sake of argument, let us say this word here mean marriage. How she marry a husband? He's a husband. <laughs> the condition is until she do nikah, not until she marry. And what is the proof? It's in the front of your eyes. And this is the reference. So what is the condition? If you think you can go back, you married the husband, yes. But you did not do the nikah yet. He did not, and not, and actually Muhammad, he said it clearly, that he, you have to taste his orgasm. Copy it and take it to Google, translate the whole verse. Uh, verse would, okay, you see, I just showed you, you Muslim translation saying married, right? But the hadith is saying it clearly, until you if him. Is that your prophet speaking or me? Is that me or your prophet speaking? Is that your website or my website? And here you ask yourself again, what kind of a prophet he said to a woman, you cannot go to previous husband unless you go and have sex with a new husband and he if you, excuse my language, and then you can go back, where is the wisdom here? This is a very filthy, disgusting cult. Right? I just told him, okay, if he cannot go in Pal Talk, then forget it. He don't need to call me. Anyone can explain to me why she cannot go back to the previous husband unless she do nikah to a new husband? Actually, in Arabic, it's even more filthy. He says, until you taste his juice, not intercourse. You see the translator here. Is lying. Al Asila is the orgasm. Usayilatuki. Until he tastes your orgasm and you taste his orgasm. What kind of a prophet he says such a thing? Any Muslim? He have to test your mother if your father divorce her. She cannot go back to her, your father, 
unless your mother she tastes the orgasm of a new husband. Any comment? This is a prophet of God? And anyway, you know, you cannot refute the Muslim. Muslims always refute us. Like Ibn Hazm, he was making books to refute us about the Trinity. And then he agreed that Allah, he can destroy the Trinity. He can destroy the oneness of Allah. What Allah will do to himself, he will smash himself, he will become many. How Allah can destroy the Tawheed? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? All of you, you can refute us, but none of you can call us. I mean, do you notice how easy to refute us? All of you. I'm willing to call you. You don't dare to call me. Then we know we, we knew who is running. You know from who? Who is running from who? And the funny when the Muslim translate. Uh, They translate this as sexual intercourse, which is a true, but it's not just the prophet of Islam did not say, enter you do sexual intercourse only. He said, enter you taste his juice and he tastes your juice. Let us show you the hadith. Always when you change the translator, you will find different translation, which is weird. I mean, the same website. You cannot go back to Rifa and tell Abdul Rahman he tastes your juice, your orgasm. Do you see it? And you taste his orgasm. Muslim, how she will taste it? Any Muslim can tell me? And what kind of God this God he is, you know? Okay, the woman, his husband, he divorced her. It's not her fault. I mean, why you are punishing the woman? She have to go now, take off her clothes and have sex with a strange man in order to go back to her babies. So instead of punishing the man, if Muhammad is against the men to use abuse the divorce, uh, you know, why he made it so easy? Just divorce and that's it, she's divorced. Just a word. Anyone? You're playing game with right word nikah does not always mean sex. Okay, I will use I will use your refutation. Guys. I will use refutation of this guy. I think this guy he worked for a Christian prince. I don't think he's a Muslim, because this is what uh, what the Muslim they will say. Each time somebody he leave Islam here, they will say this is a Christian prince. He uh, you know this is a fake. <laughs> Look what you just said. You are playing with the game with the uh, with us right now. The word nikah does not always mean sexual things. You just admit it. <laughs> You just said yes it mean it means sexual thing so your god allah could not find a word better than this word does not mean so in the, so you are saying to me from your text now your own text that you muslim you use it for both you use it for marriage and you use it to f each other what a holy religion so now how the how the women she will knew that if you want to have Boom, boom, or you want to marry her if you, if you are using the same word for the same thing. This is your text. When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. This is why they don't dare to call me to debate me. All of them, they are heroes, you know, we refuse to some friends. I, I will show you a translation for the Bible using the word nikah. Oh, this is a translation, even if it's true. So what? I, am, I can translate too. And this guy who translates, he is not even an Arab. 
Uh, maybe the Muslim that told him the word nikah means marriage. Uh, he put it there. But this is not our book we use. We don't use it. You can go right now to any Christian church, tell them I don't do nikah, and they will laugh at you. Just go. Any, there is, there is thousands of Arab Christians, uh, churches in USA, in Europe, everywhere. Take your camera with you. <laughs> record, record the priest, you know, his, his face, his reaction. Be honest. Do it live. Do it live when you do it. You know what the, what the Muslim they do? Do you remember the, uh, the video of uh, the reaction of the cat? The cat she didn't walk over the Quran. Millions of people watch the video, brother. Brother, the cat don't walk over the Quran, brother. Brother, are you serious? Yes, brother. The cat she don't walk over the Quran. Brother, are you sure, brother? Yes, brother. And millions of Muslims copy it. This is all is video editing. And then we have, a, you know, I don't have cats to do this. Like, I don't have cats in my house. But David Wood, he have a friend, he have a cat. So he went there and he did the, the cat, uh, you know, experiment. And guess what? The cat, she was all over the place. Hi, everyone. Well, you might notice the background here. I'm at my friend's house and he has a cat. Why am I recording another? Brothers and sisters, here you notice the importance of the cats, that the cat, she's a believer. And she will never walk over the Quran, brother. I mean, this is telling you how silly this cult is. This is telling you how silly, stupid this cult is. The cat will not walk over the Quran, brother. It's a miracle. Or like the video about I, the, the bird will never do poo-poo over the Kaaba. Go and search Google, poo-poo over the Kaaba. You will find it there, all over. <laughs> Another cat video. Well, I recorded a video responding to a disturbingly common Muslim argument claiming that the Quran must be miraculous and from God because a cat will not walk on it. I am a witness. Cat don't walk in the Quran. Dogs only. This is true. Pigs only. This is true. Cats don't. For they are true believers. So I tested that over and over again, and it took me on average about half a second to two seconds to get a cat to walk on the Quran. See? See, brother, we get him busted. It took him two seconds. He could not make the, 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 the cat walk over the Quran in less than a second. It took him one second to two seconds from his mouth, brother. Brother, we got him busted. From his mouth, it took him only two seconds. <laughs> go, go, Farida, go. <laughs> Be a man. I think this is you. This is you who is coming here, Fifi. Each time. You're kidding. Oh, my goodness. Look at those Qurans. But there are people who want... Brothers and sisters, notice that he put the food in the middle and he made the Quran as a square. You cannot do that. Haram. This is why the cat, she got confused. You have to put a sign in the cat language. Say, this is Quran. Like you type in that sign, it says, Nyeo, Nyeo, Quran. And then she will not walk. Hmm? Uh, not sex, call me. Abbas, you are in Pal Talk? Abbas, are you in Pal Talk? I saw, your, I saw a text from you. Let me call you there. What do you think? Guys, it's not sex. It's not sex. Here we go. This is the hate in front of you, potato. The hadith in the front of you, it says, you cannot get back to him unless he do F you. What the condition of the Quran is saying? Until she do nikah. If nikah means marriage, well, marriage means she married him. She did the ceremony of marriage, but obviously nikah does not mean marriage. Nikah means to do it. It is the physical act. Do you want to call me uh, Abbas? What do you think? Do you like to call me? You are very cute, Abbas. You cannot go back to him until you do nikah. 
Well, the women, if the marriage is what is required, well, she did marry, marry him. He said, no. Enter you if the man. And this is your private hadith. So stop being a stupid coward. Call me and explain why you're a prophet saying to unmarried women, you cannot go back to your previous husband unless he if you. The Quran says, you cannot go back to him unless he do nikah to you. What is the condition? Nikah. She is not lawful for you until to do what? Until hatta tankah. You see it? Until she do what? Tankah. Tankah what? A husband. He's a husband. She marry a husband? Good. He said tankah zawjan. Until she if a husband. Not to if anyone. She have to if a lawful husband. All right. Uh, we have a Muslim, maybe. Let us see. <clears throat> Hello. There you are. Hello. How are you, my friend? You are live on air. What do you like to say to us? Added, added, added me, please. Added. Hey, okay. What do you want to say to us? why uh, uh, you don't speak arabic why why uh, because i don't know arabic i speak uh, you know english do you speak english i know you are understand arabic ah uh, you are understand yeah I, I, you are understand too so <laughs> so what we would do now <laughs> <laughs> أنا سامعك يعني سامعك قبل المرة يعني. سامعني أنت سامعني شنو هالحكي هذا معقول؟ إيه؟ ما هو معقول إيه؟ ما أصدق إيه؟ ما أصدق إيه؟ سمعت لا 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 صدق صدق طيب صدق حتى تنكح زوجا غيره أنت شي إف نيو هازبن هاو يو كان اكسبلين ذات واس واي يور بروفيت سايز إيه؟ تكلم إيه؟ تكلم تكلم عربي ليش ما تتكلم عربي؟ بيكوز ذا أودينس آر ليش تعرف؟ My friend, why you are uh, just just go man why you are <laughs> when we got somebody finally his bad talk working uh, i understand that arabic i heard you arabic before i understand you know i heard you okay what do i mean i have a thousand people listening a thousand one hundred two hundred listening in english and now i'm going to talk to you in arabic what i will do i will kick them out Hey people, this guy who want to speak Arabic only, kick him out. You go. I will talk to him. And the funny, he says to me, why you run away? <laughs> uh, and, uh, guys, he is saying to me, uh, hold on. He says to me, I think you are just a little donkey. I'm trying to call him, now he blocked me. He said, I think you are just a little donkey. My friend, isn't it your prophet? His last name is dogs and his wife's last name is donkeys. So what's wrong with the donkeys with you Muslims? Your prophet family is a zoo. He is a son of dogs, according to you, Qusay ibn Kilab, and his wife is Zainab ibn Tujahsh, the daughter of the donkey. So the son of the dog married the daughter of the donkey. We have a nice family. Why are you all calling me donkey? Hmm. Anyway, potato. Any Muslim would like to call us? Let us see you with this person. All right. Well, he blocked me, but I mean, he don't speak. If he don't speak English at all, what I would do with him? We need, we need, if I translate, they will say you are translating wrong. Anyone? 
So what the condition to go back to the previous husband? Is it to marry a new husband? To marry a new husband, yes. And to do nikah. It's in front of your eyes. Tanka zawjan. She have to F a husband, not F anyone, not a stranger. Then she can go back to her husband, the previous husband. This is the condition of the Quran. So when they say to you the word nikah mean to marry, that's a lie. Here we go, the woman she is married. Yet she cannot go back to her husband. Why? Because she did not do nikah yet. After she do the effing thing, what a filthy religion. And you know, uh, uh, Abbas, why you don't text me, my friend? You are in the chat. Why you don't call me in a pal talk and tell the people why why the women she have to F a new guy? Explain to everybody, we'll listen to you. Right? <clears throat> uh, are you there, Abbas? I challenge you, Abbas, in front of everybody to give us the reason why this woman she cannot go back to her husband unless she if a new husband. And you are the one who said the word nikah does not mean if him. With your prophet, he made it clear until she if him. And this is the hadith in front of you. What you will say, this is my false translation. You cannot go back to Rifa unless your prophet talking. Respect your prophet, please. Show respect. Stand up. Abbas, stand up. Stop eating pizza, Abbas. Okay. So then the prophet, he said to her, if your intention to go back to your previous husband, you should know that you cannot go back to your previous husband unless you do boom boom. Hmm. <clears throat> we prove that in Arabic Bible, we don't have such a thing. And if you say to me, this guy Ahmed, he's saying, why you can't prove it? This is not true. I showed you the, the, the Bible in Arabic. Here we go. We can go right now to. Uh, BibleGateway.com, and you will use you will see all the Bible which is listed listed you know used by Christian churches. And by the way, all of them they are translation, but you will not find the word nikah anywhere. He is he is he is saying that in the Van Dyck translation, which is translation by a German guy or European guy who is not an Arab, using that word, but we don't use that word, and we don't use that even that that book. As an example, you Muslim, you say in the translation, Jesus. But there's no Quran have Jesus. So this is a false translation. Correct? The Quran say Isa. How you make Isa Jesus? You will say to me, it's translation. I don't agree with it. That's why we accept only the Quran. <laughs> Anyone can go right now. There's thousands and thousands of videos. I want to make it your duty, Muslims. Go and watch them and find me one priest saying the word nikah. Um, yeah, Abbas is just a cute kid. You see, Abbas, uh, he's you know he's better than the rest of the Muslims. You know, like he is. Uh, I mean, he is a stupid, yes, but. Let us say he is coming from a good family. But still, that will not make him not stupid, you know? I mean, coming from a good mother, good parents, like, doesn't make you a smart person. But your parents are nice people, I can say, you know? This guy is coming from a good family, his, his parents are nice people, but he is an idiot. He says things, stupid things. Like, look now, he says, it doesn't say nikah, but Muhammad saying you cannot go back to your husband unless you do nikah. So if the word nikah does not mean F word, so what does it mean? Why he's saying you have to do intercourse? Huh? Why are you saying that? If your intention, then you know that's unlawful for you to remarry Rifa unless Abdul Rahman has sexual intercourse with you. What the verse in the Quran is saying? Until she tankah a new husband. Well, he has a husband. She has a new husband now. Still, she can't go back because she did not do the nikah. It's in front of you. It doesn't even take a minute to prove it. 
And you want to try to say we Christian we use it. This is a big fat lie. You can go to any Christian in the any Christian church. You speak Arabic all over Europe, all over, and tell them I want to do nikah. They will laugh at you. Go to their church and take a camera with you. Open your phone. Tell him open your Bible. Show me. I want to show you the word nikah. He will open the Bible in Arabic. And by the way, me myself, I don't approve any Arabic translation for the Bible. Even though the word nikah is not there, but for a very simple reason, any translation used the word Allah is a false translation. Because how you translate a word, it's not there. And you make it Allah. So any Arabic translation is a false translation until they take the word Allah from the translation. Any Muslim? <clears throat> translation is a translation. Any Abdul? Nobody? Maybe, maybe. Oh. Okay. I'm here. Okay. One well, finally. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. You are live on air. Finally. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? No, very good. I'm fine. What, Thanks, do, you, God, first what, of all, what do you think about the topic we are talking about? Wait a minute. Huh? Give, let me take a breath. And I really want to know that you are a Christian, right? Yeah, I'm a Christian. Yeah. You are a Christian. Okay. So yeah, I have been debating with Christians from long time. I made some very good friends from Christians. You have good friends and, that are uh, Christians. You know. Yes, yeah, some of my very good friends are Christians. They are, live next and, door and, to me. And you, you know. And you are a real Muslim. Yes. I am not a new Muslim. No, are you a real Muslim? I'm saying, are you a real, I am are, a student. Are, are you a real Muslim or fake? <laughs> yeah, I, oh, the, <laughs> what a question, what a question. I am a real Muslim because, living in because Pakistan, you, just said, you can check out Because my... you just said to me, you have a Christian friends. The Quran says you cannot take a Christian friends. So you are not you are not a Muslim. No, so you are you are very you are very wrong. No, here actually we go. Okay. the, okay. the okay. main okay. thing. Okay, is okay. Really hold on, hold on. No, 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 my friend, hold on. Now we're talking. Chapter five, verse fifty-one well, says. Listen. Chapter five, verse fifty-one says, "Take not Christians and Jews as a friends." And you just said to me, you have many Christian friends. So why you don't believe in Allah and His message and the Quran? Are you saying the Quran is a stupid book? Give me a minute. Huh? Are you finished? I'm letting you finish. Why are you say? Are you finished? How come you have a Christian friends if the Quran? Are you for, finished? Yes. Uh, why you are having a Christian friends when the Quran forbid you? Go ahead. Okay. Let me speak. Let me speak. Hmm. Let me speak. Uh -huh. First of all, first hmm. of all, yeah. If, when you are going to jumping on to verses, I have been watching your video all the time. Hmm. And I have seen you are, you know, a pretty good jumper, my friend. You know, don't yeah, take I like, my words. I like to jump. Uh, okay. I, I am manner. like Allah. Allah, He jumped from the seventh heaven to the lowest heaven. What is happening? Wait a minute. Oh, give me a minute. Okay, give I'm me giving, a minute. I, I, you I are having you, I asked you a question. Listen. Why you are wasting my time? How you can have a Christian friend okay, when the Quran okay. forbid you? Go ahead. This is the rule. This is the rule of the game, my friend. I think this is the first time you are uh, in a debating condition. I have been debating from some time. Yeah, I never debated and anyone before. You are the first one. Speak. You are the first one ever to debate anyone. You, you know, you are the we first speak. one. Uh -huh. We are okay, brother. Listen, brother, my, okay. my beloved brother. Listen, Bro beloved too. Okay. Is it the one who says you cannot love us? Set up a topic. Set up a topic. Okay, we just Set did. Up a topic. We just did. Okay. We just did. You okay. said to me, you have. Okay, wait a minute. You said to me, you wait a minute. Christian I am. And you said to me, oh, my man. brother, the Quran forbid you, you from so loving man. us and for doing you from taking it as a friend. So who is lying here? Go ahead. Why are you lying to me? You are so so. Listen, listen. I'm so listen. listen. Yeah, I'm so listen. Calm down. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm calm down. I I didn't even started. I I was. I was introducing I myself. Why you want to introduce we are yourself? in the middle of okay, the war. Okay, introduce yourself. Go ahead. Who are you? 
we are you are starting like the the thing which really disturbs me about your all this podcast or whatever you want to call it uh-huh. that you are so much full of hate that you know okay i i, I am, can't okay according to this you this is I the am, first time this is the hate. first time according i am according to you i am wait a minute wait a minute, wait a minute. Me, shut up. give me a minute can you read for me give me a minute reclaiming my time reclaiming my time shut up reclaiming my time Go on, reclaiming say, my time. You don't have time. Sorry, it's, sorry, it's my time sorry. And reclaim at the same time. You said uh-huh. you said I have hate. The Clap Quran said the, Clap the Quran you, Quran said that Allah Clap he you. spread hate between the Christians. You are saying I have hatred. Quran said oh, Allah he give spread me a hatred. I'm, I'm giving you a minute. Quran chapter five verse fourteen. It says. I will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians and the Judgment Day. I did. So how come you are upset? I, am, I you didn't saying, even open the Bible. Listen, who, uh, I haven't even opened the Bible yet. Okay. You can open whatever Calm you want. Why you are away like the a potato? Just you are the one who spoke the about hate. Just starting, you are the friend. one who spoke about hate. You don't want to talk about it. You are the one who spoke about friend. You don't want to talk about it. The other one said to talk about love. You don't want to talk about it. So what do you want to talk about? Oh, wow. <laughs> Is this your book? It's it's first time I have seen. You know, you know, I have seen. Uh, I have met many Christians. Alhamdulillah. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I will enroll. I will add you. Alhamdulillah. Okay, my friend, I got it. I got it. You met many Christians. I am different kind of a Christian who don't tolerate stupidity, and you are stupid. Where are you from? Where are you from? Why, why you Where are, are you why from? you are saying I have a Christian friends when the Quran forbid you from taking friends from the Christian? Where religion. are you from? You see, Where are you? You are just a kid. Where are you from? I'm a black, blonde African from Japan. Where are you from? What do you want? What does have to do with my? Um, oh, where st- are you from? Stupid, uh, you know. Is that what you want to call me for? Where are you from? <laughs> Guy, hey, my friend, my friend. My name is Zachary. I will add you, you in our. In... <laughs> Just get lost. And they say to you, why you hang up on the Muslims? I mean, look at this. It's a waste of time. I mean, how much patience you will have? And the Muslim now they will they will cut my video. Says your Christian prince. He said to him, get lost, get lost. Yes, we're wasting my time. What the topic? We don't have topic. We don't want to talk about anything. Each time he opens something, we talk about it. He want to talk about it. You have hatred. Who said we love Muslims? We don't hate him. It's a Quran book of hatred. If you're against hatred, you should be against the Quran. This is the Quran in front of you says, I will spread hate, red and enmity between the Christians and the judgment day. Did me introduce myself? Who care who are you? I will introduce myself myself. Is that like a, a, a you know, a, a, the American Idol? You are calling me to prove me wrong. To prove me wrong. I will call you one more time. You go into the topic. Stop being a silly kid. Speak like an adult. Even your call is like like Zebril. Zebril is not answering. You cannot remarry and your previous husband until you f your new husband. It's in front of you. How easy we can make it. So what the condition is? The condition until to do nikah. Okay, what is the nikah is? She's married already. She married a new husband. No. She has to do the sexual intercourse. Alhamdulillah. Hmm. Okay, you are live on air again. I will give you some time to be ser- to be serious so we can talk. You want to be serious or you want to be a joker? Actually, actually, my friend, listen to me. Don't don't get angry, okay? Don't don't start jumping here and there. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's let's you you are a Christian, okay? Just give me some Christian dawa from your religion, you, from your religion. Tell me what what are you calling towards? 
What I call God? Tell me what are you calling toward? Are you calling toward Bible? Or what what? Are you a Catholic? You, are you, your, you wife, a she's asking you, your wife she's asking you if you wash the dishes or not. Answer her. Listen, listen, Did I don't have dishes? a wife. Okay. Well, I don't understand what you are saying. What? Stay, stay on the topic. What the topic? You don't like to talk what? about Bible. You don't like to talk about okay, Bible. Okay, let's talk about the Bible. What do you think about the Bible? What do you think? Yes. No, no, you, you tell me. Okay, you are calling me towards okay, the Bible. And you, you, do, you. Believe, okay, you. do you believe? Okay, do you believe? Do you believe? You said to I, me. You said to me. I have a the, question. Okay. I have a okay, question. What is your question? Go ahead. I have a question. Hmm. Do you believe Bible can solve all the world problem? All the world's problem, you know, everything. Well, uh, whatever, everything. The Bible cannot solve your problem, indeed, because you are stupid. You believe in God who will give you women with big books. How, this, is, this is your answer? Yes, this, this is, is your answer. answer. What kind of, what kind of, how, is this is, which, wow. book, which book can solve all such the audience, a, such all a the problem? Audience who is what kind of God who is gave you a woman? They can see. How, okay. What kind of God he promised listen, you women listen. with big books? You answer me. How the Bible can help you if you are okay. a person who believes let me, to Let me it. open my Bible. Huh? Let me open the Bible. Okay, let me open the Bible. Okay, let me open what, the Bible. You Do change, you believe what, Bible is the word of God? Why you change the topic? Do you believe Bible is the word of God? You said the Bible will help to solve the problem, right? <laughs> I ask you and the, your question, your question clearly shows that you cannot prove, you cannot prove that your Bible can solve all the world problems. Need, of people, I, I everyone who is to listening to you, everyone, Abdul, listen, 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 everyone who, said to you, who said to you that the Bible will solve all the problem in the world? As an example, the Bible is exist, but you are using the internet of the American. Can we ask the Bible to fix the problem to you so you will have a Muslim internet? No. Can we make you not you are, stupid you are, to believe? Hold you on, hold on. You are, let's see who's dumb. Can you are very dumb. We, how the Bible can fix someone like you who believe that there's a God, he have two hands on the right <laughs> side? How the Bible can help someone like you believe that he can marry a child, she is six years old? And, and your God, your mm -hmm. God, what, what your God does? Your God is hanging on the cross according to you, mm -hmm. crying for, for help. Okay, what who God? Let us see. Is, okay. is your God okay, you hanging to on a cross? Okay, you are saying is to me. Your God? Okay, hold on. Let me let me answer you. You are saying uh -huh. to me that okay, my okay. God, my God cannot be God if they hang him in the cross. But isn't it God? He came from the tomb and he's alive. Isn't it your Quran saying that nobody was able to hang him? So according to you, if Jesus cannot be killed, he is God. If he get killed, he cannot be God. No, so you are. So shut up. Let me. Let me. So let me. So according, let me, to, so according to Islam, let, Jesus is God. Okay. I'm using your logic. If Jesus kept killed, he can't be no, God. No. If Jesus is not being killed, you he is God. Up <laughs> you picked up one thing. Let me let me give you the reference. Let me give you the reference. First of all, you you totally picked up half thing. You picked up half thing. Hmm. If we believe that Jesus was raised to the heaven hmm. and he was protected from the evil of the Jews, hmm. we believe that and we believe he will come back. Okay. On this earth, inshallah, inshallah, okay. very okay, soon, wonderful. and he will, okay, wonderful. he will, he will fill. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. My friend, okay, my friend. I will give you your time. Yeah. no problem. I will but give I you your I time. I don't want you to. I will give you. I don't your want you to time. forget. No, 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 just wait. Just wait. We will continue. We continue. We have time. We no, have time. No, no, no. Hold on. You just said that God protected okay. Jesus from the evil of the Jews. Correct? Did you say that? Yes. Okay. Yes, I said. How come I said. Allah? How come Allah did not protect Muhammad from the evil of the Jews and they killed him by poison? They they got they bought it from Home Depot. Uh, okay. Okay. Will you say the same about Johan? Just hold on. Will you say the same I'm about Johan? I'm asking. Johan. Johan. Where's Johan? In the Quran, nobody, no, nobody. His Johan. name is Johan. Was killed. Show me in the Quran. I am talking about Bible. Don't, 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 I am don't. talking about. You see, you are uh, the one who just said to me. According you are Islam, the one that's who yes, said yes, to me, yes, not, not to me who said to you. You are the one who said to me that God protected Jesus from the evil of the Jews. So I'm saying to you, how come a Jewish woman, so, she went to Home Depot, she bought a rat poison, she gave it to your prophet, and he died? How come Allah did okay. not protect Muhammad okay, I will from answer, the rat poison? I will answer. I will answer you. Okay. I will answer you. Uh -huh. I will answer you this. Mm. Okay. It's a very simple question. Very simple. But yeah. first of all, you admitted, you admitted, mm. you admitted yeah. that Jesus was raised to heaven and he was not on the cross. Correct? 
You admitted that, right? Who admitted this is not my brother. He's not the You admit that, and I will answer your question. You, 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 uh, you admitted that, my friend. You, you, you admitted that. This is your stupid. Okay, let me. Let you're, me. You're just a stupid, like 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 your prophet. I I said that he raised from the tomb. Do you know oh, what tomb means? Yes. He no, raised. Listen, he raised. Listen, he was listen. raised from the tomb. He about, is coming oh, from the about, tomb. About raising That's from mean the tomb. he was in the tomb. But potato. Now answer. Why Allah he saved Jesus from the, the Jews? You said you are the one who used the phrase evil of the Jews. So minute, how come I will read your sentence, not my sentence? How come I would not save Muhammad from the why? from the poison rat, rat poison, which a Jewish woman she bought from Home Depot to kill your prophet? Okay, okay. First of all, hmm. he was protected from it, Alhamdulillah, and he lived after that. What is the other? What the is, other what is protected? Companion? Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold listen, on. Listen. Hold on. He was killed. Give me two by, minutes. He was killed Give by poison. Two he, two don't minutes. say he is protected. He was killed by poison. The hate in front of you on the screen. Read it. Give me two minutes. The hadith you in the front so of you. Full, you know? Don't waste you my can't time. Listen. You see, you, you, you know why I'm talking to you? you because we need entertainment. Give me. There's no Muslim okay. coming out, so you're you the only king. So I'm asking you. Are having such a short the temper, hadith you know? in the front of you, are, you your you prophet, having, he died by a Jewish you are woman. Having such a short so why your prophet was not protected by you? Such a, no problem. You can say whatever you want. Still, you, you have to answer me. No, I am the one who. For you Muslims heading. to answer, you see, Muslims they are like a talking machine, they never answer anything. So, I'm asking you, Jesus was protected according to you, but from the evil of the Jews. Why Allah could not protect Muhammad? And you, from accepted that you accepted it or not? Are you going to answer or not? You accepted it or not? Are you going to answer or not? You accepted it or not? Accept what? Yes, I will answer, but give me three minutes. It's six minutes, seven minutes complete. So, okay. are you going to answer? Check on the call direction. Are give me three minutes. Are you going to answer or not? Give me three whole minutes. I will not give you give one me three minute whole minutes. answer first. I answer me. How come Jesus was protected answer. according to Islam? No, you did not. How come he was protected but Muhammad was not? He was killed by a rat poison from Home Depot. Okay, okay. Check the same hadith which you mentioned, uh -huh. hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari, mm -hmm. also mentioned in Sahih al-Muslim, mm -hmm. that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessing be upon him, and he, do not interrupt me, when he puts the first bite of the food in his mouth, mm -hmm. he spit it away and he asked all the other companions Who to cares? throw it away. And the Jews, the, the Jews, the Jews, they said, we gave this to you because we knew that if you will be a prophet of God, that God will protect you. Okay. You said that, and he didn't took any revenge from them. Thank you, hold on. But hold the on. companion, but he, died he later died. The so one who, just a, no, no, I won't hold. Just I won't hold me. on. You're I have just, two minutes. I have just to prove to me that I have Muhammad two is a false prophet because I have two this, minutes. This Listen, said, okay, I, no, no, have two I, I have two minutes. I have minute two minutes. I have two minutes now. I have two minutes now. I am gonna mention something from your Bible. Your Bible, bro. You are running. You are running away from your Bible. You are scared of your Bible. Unbelievable. Listen. Of your Listen, Abdul. You are scared of okay. your own Bible. Okay, I'm scared. You are scared. Are scared you are you. scared of okay. your own okay. Bible. So, are you, are you, are you, can, can you talk? Can I talk? You are scared can of I your talk? own Bible. Can I talk? You can, no. I will not give you any chance <laughs> if you will interrupt my time. You <laughs> took for... Okay, I will hang up on you. Guys, he just admitted that the Jewish woman, she gave him poison and she said, if you are a prophet of Allah, Allah will protect you. He just said that. If you are a false prophet, you will die from poison. Thank you. And he just said that the prophet, he spit the, the food, but he ate it. And the hadith in the front of you saying, the prophet in his element in which he died, he used to say, not once, not twice, not three, use, 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 he's dying slowly. I feel the pain caused by a food I ate at Khaybar. And you donkey, you said to me, he spit, spit it. So how he ate it then? Are you saying that your prophet is a liar? Let me call you back. You see, that's why you don't want me to talk, you know, because in the second we talk, they will do poo-poo, diarrhea -poo. time. Here we go. <laughs> Hello? 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 Okay, do you hear me now? Did you hear the question? From your own Bible. Did you hear the question? You don't believe it's the word of God. you hear the question? You don't believe it's the word of God. Are you going to answer or not? You do not you believe it's the word of Okay, so you will repeat yourself, right? You will not talk. You will not say to me. Listen, you, listen. You just said your prophet listen, who spit listen, the food. Listen, you say, listen. Shut up. I have, oh, I have been watching, I have been watching all of your... Oh, shut up, get lost. See? The second you get them busted, we don't want to continue. You, why you accept to talk about it if you don't want to talk about it? You are the one who mentioned that Jesus was protected by Allah. Okay, we are in the same topic. 
You are the one who said the Jews. They said to Muhammad, well, if you are a prophet of Allah and Allah is a true God, will Allah protect you? And you said that Muhammad, he spit the, Jew, the, the food. You're a liar. Because the hadith here says, I ate at Khaybar. I ate, not I spit. You see, if you don't swallow it inside your, in, in your belly, did not eat it. He can say, I almost ate. But he said, I ate. And that's why he is saying, I feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And now I feel as if my orta is being cut off from the poison. He mentioned the word poison, not just food. So what you did by your call, you proved to us that Muhammad is a false prophet because the Jews, they made a condition, says, if you are a prophet of God, God will not let you die by poison rat we bought from Home Depot. It's the cheapest one, did not even cost us two dollars. And that's why you don't want to talk about it. Can your Bible fix the problem in the world? <laughs> no, the Bible is not is, exists to fix all the problems. It is you the problem. And number one problem for the world is stupidity. As long as you are stupid, the Bible cannot fix you. You are stupid. You, are, you have a defect. You decide to kiss stones. How that can be fixed? So, Jesus said, search the books, find the truth, and the truth will set you free. That's how you can be fixed. But the Bible itself will not fix you. You have to find the truth yourself. A person who believes in God, who want to give you women with big boobs, cannot be fixed until he stops worshiping boobs. The person who is waiting for a God to give him women, you can see the marrow of their bones, cannot be fixed, for you have mental issue, obviously. Have you ever heard of a God? He want to give you a woman, you can see her bones, the marrow of their bones. Look at this beauty. I swear by Allah, Every one of you will have two wives of the Huris who are beautiful, so pure, transparent. How the Bible can fix you? Which book in the world can fix your, your, your stupid brain? You believe that there's a God, He is making women for you. And those women, you can see through the bones, the marrow. Me. And now the Muslim, they will say to us, here we go, the Prophet, he predict X-ray. <laughs> he predicted X-ray. True, brother. I mean, we cannot deny that. This is my future wife in the heaven of Allah. Look how beautiful she is. What do we want more from God? What God can give us more than this? This is a strategic club of the club of Allah in heaven. And those are women in the stage of Allah. And they are so new, their beauty, brother. So good to be true. So beautiful. Amazing. We will see the marrow of their bones. Are we? Okay. Look what this guy is saying to me. This guy is said to me, I cannot call you in Skype and you are using fake Muslims. <laughs> How they are fake Muslims and you are confusing them. I mean, are you stupid or what? How they can how they can be fake Muslims? You are using fake ex-Muslims to answer so you can confuse. <laughs> oh, 
And something is really like this. Very cute. They're very cute. They are so smart. How you say they are fake Muslims and I'm confusing them? I mean, did you put the sentence together or Allah he put it? Is that Quran? It sounds like Quran for me. It's like a. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Like one of the verses in the Quran, there's many verses, all of them they are so good. You know? The Quran is an amazing book. Look at this verse, man. I think Allah he spent 10,000 nights to make it. There's no blame on the blind, nor in the blame on the lame. Nor there is the blame on the sick, nor yourself if you eat in your houses. <laughs> I mean, when you read this, you think like, what he's going to talk about? All of this to say to us, you can't eat at your home. That's deep. If I eat in my home, Allah don't blame me. And look, he start counting cases. I mean, why you say it, if you are sick, if you are blind, if you in yourself, which means everybody, why you say blind? I mean, isn't it obvious that a blind man, he will eat in his home? This is God? Guys, I receive inspiration now. There's no blame on you to sleep in your bed. There's no blame on you if you are blind to sleep in your bed. There's no blame on you if you are a person can't walk to sleep in your bed. There's no blame of you if you can't walk to sleep in your bed. And and then he continued like the story is not over. And the ho your house is or the houses of your father. Don't you think it's too late? I mean, a human being he spent half of his life at least in his house in the, in the father, and now you are telling him in the house of your father. In the house of your mother, the house of your mother, brother, and the house of your sister. That's deep. That's so deep. And then, this is why you cannot make a Muslim a real estate agent for you to sell your house. Because look, it says, and you can eat in the house, any one house, you have the key of your friend's house. <laughs> so you give the key to Abbas, Abbas, he eat your pizza in the refrigerator. It's halal. It's halal. Like, Abbas, this is my food, man. Why? I give you the key to water my flowers. Why you are eating my food? The Quran says, the Quran says, so if a Muslim, you give him a key to your house to water your flowers, he will eat your food. Genius. Abbas, he decided to work as a real estate agent. You give him the key. That's it. That's it. Say bye bye to your food. <laughs> that's so. That's so good. You know. That's so good. Yeah. And there's no problem if you eat uh, not together. Because look, look, look at this. It is not a sin that you eat together or separate. Sin? And what this guy is talking about? There's no sin. I mean, how silly the topic. Look, the Quran have no verse about rape. The Quran has a verse about you can eat a sandwich in your home. Very deep book. How many of you been right now been touched by the wisdom of Allah? I mean, we have to admit. I'm been touched. Who want to give me the key of his house? That's so deep. All right, somebody will go live soon. So maybe we better to stop here. Uh, so when the Muslim they mentioned to you, this guy Ibn Hazm, Ibn Hazm, according to Muslims, majority of them, he is a kafir. He's a, he's a fraud. And why? Because Ibn Hazm, 
he tried to use his brain and he come with his own conclusion that Allah he can destroy Tawheed if you want and those are the reference of his books the book of Al-Ahkam volume number 4 page number 73 the letters of Ibn Hazm volume number 1 page number 3, 4, 5 if Allah decide to destroy Tawheed Allah he would do it if Allah he order us to worship two or three gods Allah is right if Allah even he order us to worship idols Allah is wise and he is just so what the problem Islam is just a joke it's not like because it's not accepted it's not like because it's not logical it's just because Muhammad said so so yes Allah can be many Ibn Hazm he said that Allah can be two Allah can be four Allah can be an idol and if Allah he order us to do so we will do so very simple so what is the problem Islam have no argument and how many times we say to you you will notice that Muslim don't argue about Mary she was a virgin why because the Quran says so it's not because it makes sense it's not because it's logical because it's not logical really according to Islam that Mary she have no husband according to Christianity it makes sense Jesus is a son of no man Jesus he came from above but in Islam why Mary she had no husband there's no answer so they don't debate you about such an idea imagine if the Quran never say Mary she was a virgin when she gave birth to Jesus they will make fun of you non-stop they will say stupid Christians crazy Christians mad Christians all kinds of you know titles just because the Quran says so that's it if in my book it says that God have two hands in the right side the Muslim will make fun of you <laughs> stupid Christians God have two hands in the right side <laughs> Christians <laughs> stupid Christians <laughs> Ooh. okay but as long the Prophet say so it's true Allah have a shame it's true why not but how Allah he have two hands in the right side so what the Prophet said so very convincing okay but if Allah have right side that means still he have left side so how do you accept that Allah have left side <laughs> supposedly by making him that he's a person who have two hands in the right side that he is holy and like left present the, the, the bad but that means still he have left side of him is Allah round? <laughs> if he is round, that means there's no left, there's no right. What this what this religion is about? They don't know what they are talking about. They do not know what they are speaking of. And yeah, Allah was Samad is an idol, we know that. Actually, even the Quran, you see the Muslim they say Islam is against worshipping idols, correct? They say to you, Muhammad destroy idol, correct? But Allah, He ordered Suleiman to build synagogues with idols. Here we go. Chapter, and you will see how they, they fake the translation. Chapter 21, verse number 52, it says that when Abraham, he said to his father, Azar, Muhammad, he think Azar is a word, mean, is the name of the father of uh, Abraham. He says, ما هذه التماثيل? Tamathil, you see, it's the same word. In Islamic translation, many of them they try to hide it. So the word Tamathil is not coming as statues. But let's try here. Look, 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 look. The word the word Tamathil is gone. There's no statues. This translation of who? Hilali and Khan. Change it. Let us see. Uh Biktal. Let us see if the word statues will appear here we go look see it appear here so uh, uh, 
they try to hide it even the God of Islam he ordered his prophets to build synagogues with the statues so how Islam is against the statues you tell me they kiss black stone yet they call you pagan Allah ordered to make statues and they call us pagans they go around the stone and they call us pagans they pray in the direction of a stone and they call us pagans even their prophet he says those stones the black stones and the Yemeni corner if you touch them they erase your sin and yet they call us pagans a religion who believe that the stones if you touch them it erase your sin what kind of religion this religion is What is the name of this religion? Islam. Touching stones will erase your sin. Who said that, Muhammad? And yet, will call you a pagan. When every single belief in the cult of Muhammad is paganism. Starting from the name of their God, Ending with kissing stones, touching stones, believing in stones, and even Muhammad in the hadith he says, the black stone is the right hand of Allah. And the black stone is going to come in the judgment day, is going to have eyes and mouth, literally, not metaphorically. Mount of Sinai in Saudi Arabia. First of all, there's nothing called Saudi Arabia. Secondly, Mount Sinai is not in Saudi Arabia. Saudi, or Saudi Arabia today is almost going all the way to, to Egypt, right? Yeah. But this is not Saudi Arabia. This is today Saudi Arabia. The Arabian Peninsula, uh, you know, it's shrink and go back and small depend who is occupying the land. The Mount of Sinai is in Sinai, is not in Saudi Arabia. But if you want to say in the map today, they are very close to that area. Anyway, I want to say thank you everybody for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And as long as there's some other Christians that will go live, let us give them a chance to go for it. Uh, I hope everybody taking notes. And uh, for uh, the book I was reading from about Allah can destroy Tawheed. This is the book of Ibn Hazm. I will post the link for you. You can use Google Translation and you can save the reference in case you need it. All right. And again, we love the Muslims, even the funny one of them, even the one who cursed me. I don't hate them. I will never hate them. But they hate me. Why? Because Jesus told us that time, time will come and people, they think by killing you, doing a favor to God. They are serving God. And this is the situation of the poor Muhammadan. They think by killing us, they are doing favor to Allah. Well, if your Allah is God, why he don't kill me? Why he want you to kill me? Because simply he does not exist. Muhammad using the fool you to be a victim of him. Promising you women with big boobs. So you are not really even serving God. You are serving the big boob promise. Why God he needed to tell you about the big boobs in the heaven unless he is not a God and he is a booby God. What kind of God he promised you women with one mile ass? May Allah ask you. One mile. What kind of God he promised you endless penis? Unless this God is the devil. Very simple question. You do not need to be genius. Somebody come to your door and says, hey, I have a God for you. If you believe in him, I will give you free sweet in Las Vegas, women with big boobs, unlimited numbers of boys, 80,000 boys. Isn't it obvious that this is the devil? Isn't it? A person come to your door and say, hey, believe in my God and touch his stones. And if you touch his stones, it erase your sin. And Muhammad can go way more farther with stupid things. 
As an example, if you say Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah 100 times, Allah will forgive your sin, brother. Like what? Bismillah walhamdulillah. Huh? Are you sure, brother? Yes, brother. If you say that, you know, Allah will give you 1,000 deed, brother. Look at this. Look at this. Do you like to earn 1,000 deeds a day? Uh, yeah, brother, how we can do that? Just say glorify to Allah 100 times. And 1,000 deeds will be given to you, brother. And 1,000 sin will be forgiven. Like what? <laughs> this is religion. This is religion. The Messenger of Allah, he says, is any one of you unable to earn a thousand good deed? Prophet, we me, me, I want to get one thousand deed, Prophet. Okay, repeat after me. This is religion. This is religion. What is that? You see how easy to to go to heaven in Islam, brother? Very easy. Anyway, we have my friend Mount of Sinai in Tabuk, Saudi Arabia. Check it out. Uh, you know, I don't know really uh, uh, what to say to you. Uh, Mount of Sinai is in Sinai. How is it going to be in Tabuk? Is, is Tabuk is in Sinai? It's called Mount of Sinai. Let, it, let me make it simple for you. Mount of Japan, located where? In Germany. All right. Are you convinced me? Now you tell me some historian say some, I don't, for me it doesn't. It's called Mount of Sinai, so it is, should be in Sinai. I mean, isn't it easy to understand? Mount of Sinai, it is in Sinai. You just say Tabuk. Is Tabuk in Sinai? So then why do they call it Tabuk? Hello? So you can watch videos and people say things to you. Okay, no problem. Even if they claim to be scientists, okay, but you know, for me, when somebody says to me the Mount of Germany, it is in Germany. You cannot tell me it's in Japan. Very simple. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's in Egypt, I know. Yeah, Mount of Sinai. Anyway, uh, you see, there's many theories and many things. I don't really care for those things. I fight the cult. Like, you know, I, I saw many videos about uh, uh, Muhammad was praying to uh, Betra. It may be true, maybe, you know. But for me, those are a waste of time for me. I hit the head of the snake. They are busy with the tail. It's good to have discovery if you are a historian, no problem, that's wonderful. But I have different kind of duty. They have different kind of a duty. All right? So I want to say thank you. I said I'm going to leave an hour ago, and thanks to Allah, I'm very fast in leaving. <laughs> Uh, somebody saying that our brother uh, Sam he will be live on air so you can join him and I will see you soon again I will try tomorrow to come back uh, live on air uh, uh, tomorrow is uh, Friday right so I hope so if not then maybe uh, Saturday uh, and actually I will come back when I have a big review of the video if still we need because what, what happened when we make a new video people don't watch the previous one I don't know why and that is not a good news for me. I like people to learn, take notes, and this is why we are spending all this time. Otherwise, I can make a video of 15 minutes and say bye-bye. Like many people do online. I'm spending half of my day with you, even more half, more than the half. So we want to see that people really taking the benefit of the video before we make a new video. Otherwise, I prefer to stay without making a video for two or three days. Trust me, I'm sick of it. I'm the last one who missed to speak about Islam. 
But what I can say, somebody have to clean the garbage. And obviously it is me. So thank you very much for being here. And may the Lord bless you all. Uh, love the Muslims, but expose Islam. This is what we do and what we try to help with. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon.